Hi guys, Rachel here. Welcome to your bikini poolside workout. Um, today we have a little circuit. We're just going to go two rounds on the right and the left. Uh, feel free to do this more rounds if you feel like it. Um, all drills are going to be 30 seconds. You can do this with or without dumbbells. So I'm going to do it without, but if you have little weights that you want to use and put in your hands, you can add it to any portion of um, all of these exercises. So we're going to start in the middle of the mat. You're just going to face the side, squeeze your elbows in, stand up tall. Palms are gonna face up, or you can start to make a fist. You're gonna, just gonna step back on the right and hit a reverse lunge, one pulse forward, and then you'll stand up, get tight in between, one step forward on the right, one pulse. So it's just a reverse lunge, and then a forward lunge. So you wanna work on creating two 90 degree angles in the legs, and then you can start to add a little balance in between and make it more smooth as you step. More advanced, you can do a little knee lift in between, find that moment of balance at the top, and then step forward or back. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Both hands go down, step back, you're gonna go into a side plank. So you can uh, have the right foot in front of the left, left hand rooted down, just tap and lift. So you're pulling your elbow back for a side plank roll almost like a bow and arrow. So you wanna press with your left hand, pull up with the right elbow. You can always stack the feet, or for much more of a challenge, hover your right leg. So you wanna make sure the shoulders and hips are stacked. You can look down at the floor or off to the side for five, four, pull the elbow back for three, two. Right away, you're gonna drop your right forearm down and get into your forearm plank. The left arm is gonna go back for a tricep kickback. So here's a good place to have a weight modification. If you're like, oh my gosh, I just can't handle this. Drop your knees down and then just work on the left arm, kicking back, elbow squeezing in, and then maybe you walk it back, get into that forearm plank, and then keeping shoulders and hips nice and square to the floor. Core is super tight, legs tight. Last four, three, two, Last one, drop it down. You're just gonna turn around and get on your back. So we're gonna go alternating toe taps. So you're gonna start with the hands behind the head, both legs in the tabletop position, 90 degrees. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, you lift head and shoulders off the mat. Find your C curve and then reach the right toe out to tap the top of the mat and then just switch. So you wanna keep that nice 90 degree bend. You don't wanna to reach too far forward and you also don't want to reach just right underneath you. So you're going to reach up and over like a log. Elbows stay nice and wide. And then if you're looking for more, you're going to add your twist. So you're going to turn the body towards the leg that's lifting, keeping those elbows still wide, looking back as you twist. Last five, four, three, two, Last one, just cross the ankles, hug the knees in for a second, and then you're gonna roll forward, palms to the floor, take one vinyasa, inhale to upward facing dog, exhale, press back, downward facing dog. So you're gonna reset, bring the feet to the middle of the mat, standing up tall, and you're gonna go on the left. So elbows squeeze in, palms up. This time I'm gonna make a fist. I'm gonna step back on the left leg only, one pulse. Stand up, get tight, step forward on the left, one pulse. You can always find that moment in between just to get your balance. Think about squeezing your inner thighs together. That will help the balance in the lunge. And then maybe you can start to smooth out your transition by just stepping forward and back. Maybe even more lifting, knee balance in between. So you really have to engage the core to pick up the knee. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Palms down, high plank, pivot. You're coming into your right side, side plank, tap, and then just pull the elbow back. So side plank row, also a good place to add a dumbbell. Feet can be one in front of the other. Stack it, so this is much more challenging. Or if you wanna test your balance, left leg is gonna lift, just hover it. Doesn't have to be super high. It helps to look down at the ground just to stabilize, pressing into the right palm, 
Stacking shoulder over wrist for five, four, three, two, and then lower right away. Left forearm's gonna go down. Modification, you drop your knees, right elbow in, and then just kick it back. So you wanna keep the lower body tight. Squeeze elbow up and back, and then working the back of the right arm, the tricep. Once you have that, come back into your forearm plank, get super tight, and then just breathe through it. Shoulder right over the elbow. Make sure the hips are not rotating over to the side. Shoulders are square for five, four, three, two, last one. Drop it down, just turn around. And we're gonna go double toe taps on this side. So, hands go behind the head for your second set. Both legs back into tabletop. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, lift off head and shoulders. Find C curve. This time, both legs together, toes tap. And as you exhale, back into your tabletop. So, this one you wanna go super slow. The slower you go, the harder it is but you're using those lower abdominals to pull the legs back in 90 degrees. And then more advanced, you can add a little crunch. You're gonna lower upper body and legs and then exhale, lift everything together. So inhale back, exhale, lift. So you're not completely collapsing, you're just light touch. Last four, three, two, last one. Hug your knees in. Release that last show. You're gonna roll over up to your belly. And we're going to work on low back strengthening. So, feet are gonna go about hip width distance. Tops of the feet will press into the mat and then you wanna tighten up the legs so the knees will lift off. Scoop your tailbone. So now you're engaging the core and the spine is super long. Hands behind your head, forehead on the mat. As you inhale, you just lift. Exhale, lower back down. So you wanna keep your elbows super wide shoulders down your back and then lengthen as you lift so we're tightening up the lower back still part of the core navel pulls in towards the spine and then for more you can just give yourself a little reach at the top nice and slow pull the hands back and lower so you can keep elbows wide just extend hands back lower last three last two last one up and hold for five four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Thank you guys for joining me and hope to see you next time.